The Holy Spirit is to lead and guide you into all truth, and its assignment is to perfect holiness in you. So what you find out when the Bible says the Spirit of the Lord began to speak, that now Peter is not struggling with being saved. He's struggling with what I call sovereignty. I'm going to break it down for you a little bit. Because most people, you understand, milk can come in a bottle and it can come in a cup too. When you put milk in the bottle, it's for a baby. When you put milk in a cup, it's for a child. Y'all not saying nothing. And so you got to understand that the Lord knows how to give you the portion of the spirit that deals with your baby salvational needs. Yeah. Then he knows how to grow you into a place that his spirit can speak maturely to you because you know his voice. Amen. Look at somebody say, I know his voice. Know. Come on, say it boldly. I know his voice. I know. Now notice that while Peter thought on the vision, the spirit said unto him, behold, three men seek thee. Now notice, the same angel that came to Cornelius who told him to send two men, three men down to go get Cornelius, go get Peter and tell him where they're at. Now this is where Peter's going to be at. Go to that very place, ask for him by his surname and then the same anointing from God sends the spirit. Now this is very important. Why didn't the Lord send the angel? Why did he send the angel to Peter, the same angel he sent to Cornelius. Because angels are to awaken awareness of the presence of God. But once you've been in the presence, God shouldn't have to send you an angel. Because when you recognize that Cornelius was afraid because he's never seen an angel, he's only heard about them. So most people are afraid for what they have never seen, never met, and don't know what they're getting ready to get. Something's getting ready to happen right here that's getting ready to bless you. Now notice what happened. He said, arise therefore and get thee down and go with them doubting nothing. Everything you've seen, I already know you're doubting. Y'all ain't talking to me right now. I know in your spirit you didn't say it out of your mouth. Nobody's on the roof to talk to, but I can weigh your spirit and tell you're doubting. Oh, you, y'all, y'all got to come on now. Loosen up and understand. You don't have to open up your mouth to your spouse, to your friend, your cousin, your mother and father, your brother and sister. God already knows where your spirit is at. He said, now get up and notice what he said. He said, now don't even get, he didn't say, listen, get up and get thee down and go. But he said, look, you got a chance to eat. They were making food. They were preparing food. So while he was hungry, they were getting food ready down there. So there's automatically a conflict. The conflict is I'm smelling my culture. I'm smelling what I've grown up with. I'm smelling what I should come down and get ready to cut up and eat. But God is showing me something that I've never smelt in my house. I'm hungry and I'm used to being fed by what I smell. But God is telling me right now, I can't go by what I smell. Because what I smell will mess up what I see. Sometimes you can be around the, around the wrong people that will influence you by the culture of what they know you're used to when God is trying to open you up to something they can never see. God was telling him, you got to go out of your culture, go out of your boundary, go to a place you've never been, and get ready to kill it like what you've already got in your house. Now, there's something about Peter shined greater than an angel. Y'all missed that. Y'all missed that. If, 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 if you notice that Cornelius fell down at the place of Peter, something about Peter was shining greater. Y'all missed this, okay. I'm, I'm gonna give you a little secret. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. Yeah. Obedience, Obedience will, cause will cause you to shine above, above all, those all those in the spirit of disobedience. Spirit of disobedience. Wow. Yeah. Notice what happens, he falls down. Now the reason why, the reason why, now notice, Notice what happens. Cornelius falls down under reverence. Mm-hmm. 
Now, we missed the point. He tells him to get up, and he knows that, and Peter was right. Never worship a man at, because of the area. But he gets him up. He says, I am also a man. Now, there's two points about that. Because Peter becomes the benchmark of what Cornelius knows his life has to shine at. Either your spirit's going to be that God has remembered everything that's already been given out of my heart and love in the service of the Lord, or you will struggle and say, does God really know what's going on in my life? See, I've always come to a threshold of conversational with people that are going through, and I think I know the common denominator with most people that go through is when is God going to see what I'm going through? Have you ever met somebody that's going through and they act like God don't know? For some reason, God missed the fact that my bills weren't paid this month. That God missed the fact that my car was repossessed, that my house is up on auction, that I still have some bills from the, the medical that have to be paid, that I don't have a job, that, the, that the, the unemployment check is not coming in. Does God see all these things? Have you ever not seen? Some of y'all getting real quiet. So you, I, I'm not talking about you unless it is you. Honey, what do you have to say about fasting? I'm, I'm sure, and I want you to hear this important because if we want a greater level in God, we got to cost ourselves a greater level. In other words, you got to deny yourself to it. Amen. That's so powerful. And, that, and I just want to bring that out because, you know, when you were saying about fasting, I think that's so important for the body of Christ. We miss that because it used to be a time when, like everybody said, you had to fast. Had to. And when you fasted, you, you really saw breakthrough. And we're not seeing the breakthroughs and power of results because we're not willing to do what the old school used to do. That's right. And sometimes it's fast and giving up and, you, you know, you're getting those hunger pains and you smelling everything. You can smell Krispy Kreme. You can smell Dunkin' Donuts. And it seems like it's not until you go on a fast that somebody starts offering you something to eat. Nobody's not bothering you. But the Word of God says only some of these things are going to come by prayer and fasting. So until I'm really able to get in a place, so when Bishop calls for these fasts, we really ought to be at a place where this is really nothing because there's going to be a day where he's going to say, we're going to have to go seven days and the church is going to have to say amen. That's right. Because our next level is really being consecrated unto God and saying, God, you know what? I want this, I want this hamburger, but right now I got to give this up. And see, when, the more we give up for God, the more he then blesses yes. us and gives us more back. Yes. Some of us watch too much TV. That's right. And if, so if, if Bishop says, okay, next week we're not going on TV, we're going to go on a TV fast. Everybody, because sometimes our spirits need to get purged of some things. And so what happens is when the word of God is being released out of the man of God on Sundays, our spirits are so jacked up from what we've allowed inside all week. So then when the word comes forth, we have all of these blocks. Oh, that's not God. I can't receive that. But when your spirit has been cleansed, when the word of God is being processed out of the man of God, it makes it so much easier to receive. It's just like when your body goes through detoxification. It goes through a cleansing process. And when it goes through that cleansing process, it is allows anything now to go into your body to absorb easily. The reason why a lot of us cannot receive the blessing from this prophet's house is because we have too much junk sitting in and God is saying it's time for a fast. It's time to get cleansed so we can start seeing some things that Cornelius saw. See, he was able to see some things because he did some things that others wouldn't do. What are you doing that somebody else is not doing? Fast and we're going to really have to get back to that. And when we fast, we're going to have to get somewhere and pray. and pray and I'm going to share this and I'm going to turn this back over to Bishop because I, I really don't think they're hearing the point that you're saying Bishop when you talk about fasting because not only is it a cleansing process we can hear the voice of God so much clearer see a fast just don't fast and, and, and you sneak away food but then you still got everybody in your ear on the cell phone putting junk back in your spirit because see what happens is really you, 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 you cleanse one area but you just released another area of junk 